there, coin lovers. Have you ever wondered if the spare change in your pocket could be worth more than face value? Today, we're diving into the story of the 1983 Washington Quarter. While most are still in circulation and worth only 25 cents, some rare specimens are worth significantly more. From high-grade coins to minting errors, there's plenty to discover about this common yet collectible coin. Stick around to learn how you might have a hidden treasure without even knowing it. The Washington Quarter has been a part of American currency since 1932, designed by John Flanagan to celebrate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. While initially meant to be a commemorative coin, the Washington Quarter became so popular that the U.S. Mint decided to keep it in regular production. One of the controversies surrounding this coin involves the design competition, where Laura Fraser's design was actually chosen, but was later overruled in favor of Flanagan's version due to political influence. Fast forward to 1983, when the quarter no longer contained silver, a change that began in 1965. Instead, the U.S. Mint switched to a cupronical composition for economic reasons. Although the coin no longer had precious metal content, its symbolic importance and historical value continued. 1983 was an interesting year for the Washington Quarter because all the coins produced that year were released directly into circulation with no special collector sets. This makes finding a well-preserved, uncirculated 1983 quarter extremely rare and valuable. The total mintage was 673,535,000 quarters from the Philadelphia Mint alone. But most of these coins have been used in circulation for decades, resulting in wear and tear. Because of this, high-grade coins in mint state are highly sought after by collectors. A typical circulated 1983 quarter is worth only its face value of 25 cents. However, Pristine coins in mint condition can be worth much more, especially those that earn high grades from professional coin grading services. The obverse, front, of the 1983 Washington Quarter features the iconic portrait of George Washington, based on a bust by French sculptor Jean-Antoine Houdon. Flanagan's design depicts Washington with a distinctive roll of hair, setting it apart from the original sculpture. The obverse also includes the inscriptions Liberty and In God We Trust, as well as the mint year and mint mark. The designer's initials, JF, are subtly placed on the truncation of Washington's neck. The reverse back of the coin is equally symbolic. It showcases a majestic bald eagle, the national bird of the United States, holding arrows in one claw and olive branches in the other. This imagery represents the country's readiness for war, but also its preference for peace. The inscriptions United States of America and E Pluribus Unum circle the eagle, while the denomination quarter dollar is inscribed at the bottom. Collectors often search for mint errors, which can significantly increase a coin's value. The 1983 quarter is no exception. One of the most sought-after errors from this year is the doubled die error, where the design elements are accidentally struck twice, causing a slightly blurred appearance. These rare error coins can fetch hundreds of dollars depending on their condition. In addition to errors, the highest graded coins from 1983 are extremely valuable. Coins graded MS66 can sell for $95 to $114, while MS67 coins are valued even higher, often between $500 and $600. These pristine specimens are rare due to the fact that most 1983 quarters have been heavily circulated making uncirculated examples all the more desirable. What makes the 1983 Washington Quarter particularly fascinating to collectors? For one, its scarcity in mint condition makes it a challenge to find. Despite the high mintage, very few uncirculated coins are available on the market today. Furthermore, the coin's historical significance, as part of a series dating back to 1932, adds to its allure. Another reason for its popularity is the potential for valuable errors and high-grade examples. Coins that are perfectly preserved or contain minting mistakes can sell for hundreds of dollars, making them exciting finds for both new and seasoned collectors. In short, the 1983 quarter is a testament to how even seemingly ordinary coins can hold hidden value. So the next time you're sifting through your change, take a closer look at your quarters. A 1983 Washington quarter might seem like just another coin, but if it's in pristine condition or has a rare error, it could be worth far more than 25 cents. Whether you're a collector or just curious, keep an eye out for these little treasures that could be hiding in plain sight.